here's a very important step when I start wiring the ESC to the flight controller. I'm gonna use the standard cable that came with it, but I'm gonna to have to move the pins around. So this is gonna plug directly into the flight controller and it's gonna plug directly into the ESC. However, what you notice on this flight controller, this is a CL Racing flight controller, the motors are set up like you'd expect in a standard quad with, this is forward here, motor one, motor two, motor three, and motor four. However, if you look closely at this, this is a Lumineer uh, ESC, the motor layout on this one is quite different. In fact, it really depends on how you want to position your ESC on your quadcopter. I'm gonna have mine set with uh, the battery connection to the rear. But theirs is set up with motor two being here, motor four, motor one, and motor three. So I'm gonna fix that in the wiring by rewiring so that motor one is going to, uh, of the ESC, is going to motor two, motor two of the E, sorry, motor one of the flight controller is going to motor two of the ESC, motor one of the flight controller is going to motor four of the ESC, and so forth. And I'm gonna do that by taking the wires out of the connector and then repinning them appropriately. So on the flight controller, this connector is for the flight controller, so it's already been set up appropriately. So red is VBAT, black is ground, white is uh, RX-6, which we're not going to use. This gray could be like a violet. It is the current sensor. Green is the motor one. Yellow is motor two. Pink is motor three. And brown is motor four. So I'm going to reposition those colors and those wires into this connector appropriately. On the ESC, they start with this pin being motor four going all the way down to VBAT. So you can see my VBAT is in the motor four position. I've got to move all these wires around. So it's pretty easy to pull the wires out, the, the pins and the wires out of the connector. You just have to lift, lift up on a little locking tab on the connector. I like to use a really sharp instrument like a X-Acto blade, but if you got anything that'll fit in there without damaging the pin, then use it. Since I've already mapped out my wire colors to the pins over here, I'm just going to follow this through. So red is going to go all the way on this side. Next is going to be current, which is my gray or violet color. Next is going to be ground, which is my black. My next pin isn't going to be used. In fact, that's this white wire. I'm not going to use it at all, so I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. Next pin is motor one, which is going to be pink.
motor two, which is green. Motor three, which is brown. And finally, motor four, which is Okay, I've got my harness finished. It's very important now that I remember which side is the flight controller side and which side is the ESC side. So I have to keep that in mind as I put this together. In fact, maybe I can put a little mark on it or something to let me know. I'm gonna go ahead and mark my connector so I know which one is the ESC and which one's the flight controller. So I'm gonna put just a, an F on this side for flight controller and I'll put an E here for ESC.